Last video you saw, Sid and I visit the little puppies, and this is the big reveal of Sid's puppy that we have yet to name. I did an Instagram post saying which we name it. Still not sure, saw Mochi, leaning towards Mochi. We actually are about to bath her. I give you the big reveal, and she's gonna have her first bath on vlog. Introducing puppy. <laughs> so this is a Chihuahua Yorkie, AKA a Chorky. This is how little she is. She can sit on my shoulder. We're gonna give her her first bath because she's a bit stinky. She's eight weeks old, so they said you can bath her after six weeks. So. This is actually Sid's dog, it's not mine, but I've been cleaning up all her peas, cleaning up all her poos. Is that a joke? <sighs> uh, look how cute she is. I think I might be allergic to her though, so I'm gonna get rid of her maybe after a couple of videos, get a couple of views. No. She was the only female, a little runt. She was the littlest. It's Yorkie coloring and you can see a little chihuahua on her face, a little floppy ears. Introducing Chork, the Chorky. Graham crackers. Chorky's first bath. Guys, what do you like? We're thinking of oso, like bear in Spanish, or mochi. Which one do you like better? Vote in the comments. You're going in here. <laughs> hey, do you want warm for Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that uncomfy? She's just been peeing and stepping in her own pee and... Oh, she's making little wincing noises. I think she's, she gets cold really easily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it's too hot. Your bum. Oh, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, baby. You cold? Always get cold, right? Mm. She really didn't like being dried and washed. Let's take her over to my parents' house. And I just made dinner. What did you make? Another roasted chicken? Yeah. Nice potatoes, roasted chicken. I'm not that hungry anymore though. Seriously? <laughs> you are such a prick. Uh dessert up your sleeve too, no? Yeah. This is a little hint. This is my dad's dog. This is my hand. This is Sid's dog and this is my hand. Ooh, They're meeting. You know, you know what she was doing to me last week? What is this technique? Draining the oil? Yeah. What's the difference between this chicken and the last chicken you made? This one is better. I improved it by using a little bit more seasoning. Here, how juicy that is. Mm -hmm. It's called juicy. It's for dessert now. In French crepe, strawberry, homemade you know, Nutella, hazelnut puree, and also chocolate. Strawberries. You like to cook the strawberries instead of fresh? Yeah, just a little bit. Nutella, one more. It's all about the details, right? Just a little bit, not much. So you're leaning towards mochi, no? Yeah. Look at her white little toe spots. Look at her toes. You don't want to show them your toes? Come on. We just watched this movie on this guy who pretty much loves an octopus. <laughs> and it's hella weird. Sid was low key crying when the octopus got ate. Oh. Hey! Her favorite thing is chewing on toes. Whoa, she always tries to beef my camera lately too. So I think Sid decided on the name Mochi, finally. Hey! No. There's a little farmer's market near my house, so we're gonna go check it out. This little creature, imagine you just saw this little creature in your house. Hey, no chewing the wee wee pad. We got her a hoodie, but it's too big for her. She'll grow into it. Isn't it kind of fire? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's chilling at least. Explain what just happened. <laughs> Waiting to get into the market. Oh, and this girl like came. We just see her fall on her bike, like take a really like hard fall. Looking at her, and we're like, "Oh, are you okay?" Everyone was asking her in line if she was okay. And she was like, "Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine." And she was getting her stuff together, like just getting up, recollecting herself. And then she comes over to me, and she was like, "The reason I stopped, and kind of the reason I fell, is that I wanted to ask you where your mask is from. So now I have to follow through. So basically, I made her, <laughs> I made her fall." So where are we going? Um, St. Lawrence Market. St. Lawrence Market has been uh, in, in Toronto for many years, at least like maybe even 50, 50 years. It's a market that people uh, buy like from 
fruit, vegetable, uh, even like stores that you can eat. Um, yeah, there's some junk food actually. Really? There's some like hot dogs, burgers. But oh. our main goal is to go get a look at the seafood, no? Yeah, I think we're we gonna check do. out the seafood. Uh, I haven't been there actually for many years. So it's almost like a little tour of myself and I want to introduce to you. I think the people want to see you. We've been doing too much fast food lately. We have to do some refined food. When's the last time you went here? I went think here. it was like maybe seven, maybe even five years ago. Okay, first of all, I wonder how many years is actually this market. So apparently this market is from the 1850s. You're actually gonna get one? Yeah. He got sidetracked for his new kid, Nyla, the dog. Getting a bone. Yeah. I have some wild really, game. Yeah. Ostrich yeah. pheasant. Yeah. Emu. Yeah. Crocodile. Good deal. Water please. buffalo. Guinea hen. Should we get some game? Look, crocodile. Oh my god. Sliders. Have you ever had crocodile? Yeah. In Singapore. How's it? Uh, it's okay. Crocodile burgers and crocodile tenderloin. Just sent uh, the photo of all like the game meat to mom and Sid. I buy it, you're gonna secretly cook it and not yeah. tell them. Yeah. Sid. Well, you know what? This is a Franzino, it's a European fish. I wanna look around, see other shops, see how they are. But they're all frozen defrost, right? How can you tell what's frozen and defrosted? Well, you can see the coloring, you're not shine anymore. You know, fresh seafood is shine, right? Uh, they just said you can tell it's been dead for a long time and the eye is so gray. What's your favorite fish in the world? Rotash. There's one fish that tastes like lobster. Now, should we get like jumbo shrimp? You want to, you want to have some tiger? Yeah. Huh? I like the US wild caught jumbo shrimp. Yeah. So, I have to say, yeah, let's do that. 24 bucks a pound, eh? You think I should get one lobster for uh, what's it? You think you should? Oh, I'd eat it, but. You eat it? This one is two to three pounds. Yeah. This one is the biggest. Yeah. Mm. You see, you know, I want to show my son. See the, see the the body, you know the ribs. When yeah. they're big, it means they're female. This one is a male. This one, that's one is female. This one is it? Male. Oh yeah, that one is a male. You're this right. One's male bigger like this. Uh huh. Hey, one more time, so you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> so this one is the uh, the male of the lobster. It's much smaller the rib because the rib hold the eggs, right? Let's take this one. So why is that better? Because they're more meat. Where do you think you can get the best lobster in the world? Well, you know the Atlantic Ocean, you know, they, they call them the blue lobster. Oh, they're one of the best. Blue? Blue, yeah. Where's your store? Right in the corner, right by Buster's. Shout That's out to St. Right. Lawrence Pizza and Pasta. So, uh, We're please, hooking it up. Uh, your name is? Huya. Huya. Yes. Okay. Shout out my boy at St. Lawrence Pizza and Pasta. He hooked us up with some tagliatelle and cannelloni. Very good, but thank you so much. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Sid's new puppy? Oh, you know, okay, I, I love dogs, number one. Number two, you know, when dogs are really small and fragile, uh, you know, the interaction, it's, it's very hard for me to uh, get in there. I, I do like bigger dogs. And uh, I think that uh, this puppy need to be bigger. I, and I want to get my hands in there, kind of roll her, her, her around, you know, like doing silly things and, you know, playing little games and so that why you are son of a bitch. She keeps peeing everywhere guys. What should we do about it? She ain't going on the pee pad. She thinks the pee pad is like a punishment square. Bot showed up with what'd you get? Package from Daniel. Porsche. Be crazy though. Like his packaging. I know, his packaging is nuts. It's pretty crazy. It's the retail price of it. I think they're two grand each. There's only 500. They numbered? Uh, I think so. Yeah, somewhere on the box. How many collabs like has he done? I don't know. He's got some crazy ones though. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll back up to where like you make a 90 degree angle. Like your your back is straight with your legs. You Put the chair to your that. chest and stand up. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like girls can do it. I can't do it either. It's your center of gravity. Yeah. Guys, NBA Finals Game Four, Heat down one. Butler is—I never thought Butler was that good, but he's proven me wrong. Wow! 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 LeBron on Butler. This guy gets blown by. Are you kidding me, LeBron? What was that D, bro? Pause. Uh, if LeBron hits a game winner to win the championship, he's certified. Better than Michael. Well, I already think he's better than Jordan, but 
All I hope is LeBron doesn't take a step back three and actually goes to the basket. I, kind of, I want LeBron to hit a game winner just for the legacy. I want this on tape for my kids. Really? Don't let Danny Green hit it. Let LeBron take it, bro. Let LeBron. Are you kidding me? Look how open LeBron was. That's a vet doing that pass. Give it to him. Wow. Guys, if the Heat win this series, LeBron's legacy is like... I still think he's the best, like, just pure player ever, but... He can't f*** with Jordan legacy-wise. I want to thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. Mochi is her official name. She's a bit stinky, likes to sniff and lick her own poo. Kind of gross. My hats are again got delayed. Sorry. It's really annoying, but I don't really want to settle for anything. My hair looks painful right now, but I don't want to settle for anything less than New Era. So there's only 144 of them. I can make bigger orders, but those will be in the future. Just want to see how it is. So January 15th is the new date. Could come before as well, but just wanted to let you know. Thank you so much for watching. Lobster video with my dad tomorrow on Sunday. That's Sick. Uh, yeah, two videos like I promised this week. It just grinded it out. Let me know if you liked the two videos. Say goodbye. Let's go.